Hello everyone and welcome to a new painting tutorial. Today we will be painting another one of my Norse mythology inspired watercolor and color pencil paintings. This one is inspired by a Germanic pagan goddess named Baduena from the 1st century CE, who is theorized to be a battle goddess. I gave her a shiny metal helmet to accentuate her role as a warrior. Feel free to paint along with me and follow my instructions if you like. Just so you know, this video is only a short version of the original painting tutorial on Patreon, which is longer and has more information for you, like the full 25 minutes long voiceover, my palette and the mixing process. You can also download my material for this lesson, like the final artwork, a sketch to print out and the high resolution reference photo for your studies. Additionally, you will get immediate access to my 120 other painting tutorials as well. So if you don't want to miss out on this, follow the link in the video description and join me on Patreon. And now, without further ado, let's begin. Let's start this painting by adding a light layer of water, ultramarine blue and silver onto the entire background area. I leave the face out because I need the white of the paper for vibrant skin tones. Next I add sprinkles of metallic red ochre to the wet areas. I want flowy and soft misty colors around the portrait to really bring it out. Now let's start with the first layer of skin tones. For that I mix a tiny bit of red ochre and yellow ochre and lots of water. I fill in the entire face with this base tone. The face has to dry before we can work on it, so let's work on the helmet first. You can just mix some of the ultramarine blue tone and brown for the grey metal. While the helmet has to dry, let's focus on the face again. Start with the shades and use yellow and red ochre. For the lips, I mix a light red tone with crimson and gamboge. We can also add a light shadow to give her left cheekbone a bit more definition. Don't forget to blend it out with a wet brush. Next add a contour on the brink of the helmet where it touches the forehead. Now where we have this dark shade on the brush anyways, we can use it to paint in the irises. Pay attention to symmetry, no one wants uneven eyes. I jump back to the helmet again and continue to work on the shadows. Although we've added lots of contours, we still need larger shadow areas to create depth. Do you see how nicely these shadows work together with the contours? They make a huge difference. Be careful to leave the highlights out and don't accidentally paint over them. Now let's paint the hair. I mix grey, metallic ochre, silver, water and the blue that I have on my palette for a light first layer. Then I picked up a bit of metallic green and metallic red ochre to add some more splashes and effects to the piece. I felt there was still something missing with the piece and I decided that it was neon pink. I had applied it in earlier works and in small doses it can look very beautiful. So I courageously added some splashes of neon pink to my painting. And a little bit more. And after I dried the painting with the hairdryer, I could finally start the color pencil process. I begin with Caput Mortum to refine her eyelids. And I continued with the Luminance Pencil Burnt Ochre 10% to draw over the harsher edges of the watercolor to blend it and also to draw in the water lines of the eyes. Then I added a pink shade to the makeup 
to accompany the neon pink that I added earlier. To soften the contour of the lips, I draw around them with Naples ochre. And for the inside, I used a pick of pink as well. I want to make them really soft and vibrant, so I use deep scarlet red and pink metallic to achieve that. To finish off the portrait section, I use white gouache and add some highlights on the lips, the corners of the eyes and the helmet. Then I added some smaller hair strands with a detail brush to finish up the painting. Yay! Now the only thing left is to take off the tape and admire our gorgeous piece of art. And now the portrait is finally finished! Yay! I hope you could learn something new today. And now I have a question for you. Which type of video or tutorial do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to give the video a like and turn on your notifications to never miss a new video. Have a wonderful painting day. Bye bye.